Hey everybody, welcome to All Around the Farm today on this Easter Sunday. Well, it's not Easter Sunday yet, but it will be when you see this, so hey, that's the same thing, right? Sure. I only got a few things to do today, guys. I got a new tire for Massey Kardashian. That makes three. I only really needed three because three were checked real bad, so just in my travels driving along, I found the third one. <laughs> Couldn't beat the price. So I gotta get it off my trailer and get my trailer somewhere else because it's buried in the mud. We gotta put an oil change on Turd Ferguson, put some fuel in it, and hey, that guy's ready for spring. I got tires on it. I already did the fuel filter and the air filter on it, so nothing to it. Might as well take advantage of this weather because it's probably gonna snow again. I don't know why it wouldn't. Let's get after it. Guys, as far as maintenance goes, the old turd here is pretty tough to beat. Everything couldn't be much easier on this. I mean, just crawl under here with a bucket and your handy impact. Get your oil draining, just like that. Now, since I know that's going to take half the afternoon, we'll just uh, go on to something else. Maybe I could pull. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get another bucket. Might as well get the filters off while I'm right here. The big fun part of this is going to be to see how much actually stays in the bucket with the wind blowing ridiculously like it is. Hmm. Well, I'll take my chances. Actually, looks like that's going to be a good spot where filters will maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. There's one. Maybe that one's not the easiest to get to, but we're gonna get to it either way. Come on now, come on. Help me out, help me help you. Boy, I must've put that one on there with a little more power. Let me get up top. Up here, maybe. Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. There we go. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. We'll just get those drained while we're at it here. One. Ooh. I'm going to get oil on you guys. Let me move you back a little bit. Oh, yeah, oil everywhere. Okay, well, chances are good. There won't be a lot of dust in the driveway right here in this very spot. Let's go find something else to do for a few more minutes. All righty, friends. Well, we're waiting for that. Let's put that right back in the box. This is one of these arguments that goes one way or the other for whoever you are. Something that will be discussed as long as which one's better, Ford or Chevy. Filling up your oil filters before you're putting them on. Some people say that you don't have to do it and it's just dumb to do it. Some people say you have to do it, and it's dumb if you don't do it. I don't know who's right. They both have good points, but hell, do whatever you like. I've never had a problem either way, but I'm still filling these ones up. Just because that's what I'm doing. I'm sure that the bearings don't run for very long dry, but very long. and I, I don't know. I mean, that could go either way. There. Well, we're waiting for that to make a huge mess everywhere. Let me get little John out. Let's get this tire out of the way so I can get this trailer out of the way so then I can get this tractor out of the way. You know, everything works in unison around here, guys.
No promises. Okay, well, I'll take that. Yeah, sometimes it pays to go for a little ride. I mean, that's not a bad tire for 35 bucks. So, you know, you gotta find a deal when you can get one. And if you see a big old tire on the side of the road, yeah, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe. And I thought for 30 bucks, it's worth a shot. Well, let's go find a safe place to stick this thing. Come on, you. Dang old gas tractors. Oh well. Well, friends, well, we're still drizzling a little bit of oil. Let's uh, let's see if we just can't get some fuel in this guy, shall we? Now, friends, I don't know if any of you pump fuel with one of these stupid things like I have been doing for the last couple of years. Hey. Probably better than using five gallon gas cans. That's got a hundred. So what does that say? Five times 20, 20 trips up and down there with five gallon gas can. That gets rough. Pumping on one of these things for 25 minutes. Well, I ain't a teenage boy alone in my bedroom anymore. I can't handle that kind of pumping. So we're all done with this. Ugh. So friends, the fine people at Viver sent me this diesel transfer pump to try. So I'm going to try. I thought, man, that's going to make my life easy. Supposed to do 10 gallons a minute. We're going to find out because I have exactly 30 gallons in that drum. I have 42 in this one. I don't know how much is going to fit in the tractor, but I'm kind of curious to see how this baby is going to work. So let's see if I can... A, I guess I can just walk right up this tire here. Ah, come on, don't fall. Let's just stick that in there for now. Okay, tailgate straps don't break. Okay, good, they didn't. You need a 12 volt power source, friends, so, so I thought we'd roll right up to this side of the tractor where there's two 12 volt power sources right underneath these, right in this box right here. So we'll just open this up, borrow some power, and hopefully this tractor will start when we're done. Guess we're all going to be on this learning excursion together. Positive. We need. To... I got just enough. All right. Well, so far so good. Now, guys, this pump is about eighty-five dollars. Sucking fuel. Here's what we're going to do. This should take three minutes. So what I'm going to do... I got this stopwatch here. I'm just going to hit it. Let's see what happens. 
Where am I gonna set this thing? How about I set it right there? Okay. We're losing minutes. Oh, hey. That baby's moving some fuel. If I can keep the hose from kinking off, I'll be doing even better. How are we doing on the bucket? Not bad. How are we doing on time? 128. Jeez, you got hit. that thing is uh all right, I'm impressed. Let's climb right up on this thing and if I can get on here without busting my ass. There we go. Now let's Oh yeah, she's moving some fuel. Got one of these. Handy guys, just like when you're at the gas station. I like it. As soon as that barrel gets to the bottom, I'll shut her off and we'll see just how long it took. Two, I think it's actually going to do better than 10 gallons a minute. And this is all real time here, friends. I just want to make sure that if I'm advertising this, it's not a piece of junk. I started advertising for a few people, and it's great. It kind of helps me uh, pay for some of this stuff. But be aware. But rest assured, if I don't believe in it, I'm not going to talk to you about it. So that's why we're trying her out. Dang, that barrel's running low right fast. 250. That's it. Let me shut that down. <clears throat> Guys, I don't believe it. There was about that much in there when I started filling this. So that was, let me shut that off because, stop, there we go. That was exactly 30 gallons that I put in that one because I wanted to make sure, I only brought so much money, so I brought two barrels. But that was exactly 30 gallons in exactly three minutes. You know what, I can still feel my arm. I wasn't doing this all the time. Well, I tell you what, this earns my seal of approval for now. I mean, it only pumps one barrel, but I'm sure you're going to see me using it a lot more. If you want to try one of these out, I put a link in the description, get you 5% off. And like I said, the thing was only like $84 anyway. So by the time I bought the hand pump, I think the hand pump was 50. I could have spent an extra 30. I could have used my discount code, got five more percent off and not been hand pumping all this time. Works smarter, not harder, my friends. Well, let me get the rest of this barrel in there. I don't know how much it's going to take, but I know how much I'm going to use. And uh, we'll put some oil in this thing and get it the heck out of here. Well, they're not bad, guys. I got a little bit left in the bottom of that barrel, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. I put all 72 gallons into that thing. She's full right close to the top, so... That'll probably get 100 acres of discing done. <laughs> Let's get some oil on this turd and get it the hell out of here. Get this job finished up. So I got a nice half a pail of used oil there. I tried to do the right thing and 
put these towels down to get all the oil from off the ground and by golly I actually think that worked but let's get this where's my plug here it is let's put this back in get the filters back on <laughs> the bug get some oil in this thing good enough Ugh. get this in the trash can oh, boy There's one ringy dingy. Two ringy dingies. That's enough time under the turd. Let's get everything on top taken care of, get some oil in it, and get it out of here. Where's the handle? There we go. First step is a doozy. Son of a... Here we go. Okay. Well, let's check the antifreeze since I'm up here. I might have to top the antifreeze off a little bit, but it's not empty, so don't panic. I'm gonna have to do that another day because I don't have any antifreeze. It's always something. Boy, I tell you what. <clears throat> Tractors weren't built for short people. There we go. We'll get the first two and a half gallons of traveler in there. Filters are already full, so that should go easy enough. Guys, these tractors get the utmost of maintenance. Every tractor on this farm, combine, lawnmower, whatever, gets an oil change every two years, whether it needs it or not. Which, honestly, isn't really too bad around here because I doubt seriously that I put 100 hours on anything in two years. So I figure that just ensures that my 50-year-old tractors will run for another 10, maybe 12. There. We'll give that a minute to get all the way to the bottom and we'll check it and see where we're at. Oh. All right, that's had a minute. Let's see how much more oil I'm going to need. Looks like two quarts. I'm on it. Got a little bit left in this jug. Let's. Oh. Nope. Nope. Just going to have to. Oh. I remember these things having two steps on them before when I was younger. Now that I'm old, it only has one. Figures. Well, let's see what we've got now. That's better. That looks really good. Let's... Between add and full, that's just dandy. I'll take it. Ah, i got to get back up there again to get that stuff down. <clears throat> That's hard on a guy's knee, I tell you what. Oh, there we go. Well there, friends, I think that Turd Ferguson is all ready for spring. Just need to hit it with a grease gun, which I'll do when I have a hook to one of those pieces of equipment. And uh, you know what? I gotta see. She's drying out around here, finally. I'm sure that's gonna be short-lived, but it's drying out here. So, other than topping the antifreeze off, which I will do when I go get some antifreeze, probably tomorrow, hit it with a grease gun, my oil's changed, I got a new tire on, I got my air filters clean, I got a new fuel filter in. This thing's ready to work. Well, let's... Let's see if it works. See how this goes. Now, let's see if that fuel pump took all my battery power and see if it'll start. Okay. Oh, oil pressure's coming up. That's nice. She hasn't come up that fast in a little while, so it's nice to see it coming up like it should be. 
Should go to 80 and stop. Close enough. There. I like to see that. I can tell when this needs an oil change because it takes a long time to get all the way over. Now that I got nice clean oil in it, she's like, soup! Ready to go. I'll let this thing run for a few minutes because it needs to do that. And then uh, I'm going to put it away for about three weeks. Then I think we're going to be in good shape. So, friends, I think that's going to do it for me today. Um, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Easter if that's something you believe in. If not, hey, have a great day. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.